All right. Today's magic number seems to be two. We'll see if that holds out. Mm -hmm. This is Fine Music episode 342. Mm -hmm. And let's see what Murray has to share with you. Okay. Uh, Today. I am going to talk about a uh, woman singer-songwriter who I don't think I've talked about before, even though, you know, I've been doing this for two or three years now and things blur together. But even if I did, I uh, discovered a new recording by her. So um, anyway, her name is Lindsay Smith. Um, there we have the uh, album reflecting. that. So the first album, this is uh, one of my, back when I was reviewing things regularly, um, this album was sent to me. It's called Tales from the Fruit Bat Vat. And uh, I really liked it. Um, interesting mix of uh, kind of spiritual album, sp spiritual songs, but not um, not religious. As a matter of fact, it starts out with a song, My Mother is a Christian, but not me. But mm -hmm. uh, a, lot of, a lot of dealing with you know, like I say, spiritual albums, but also various relationships and things like that. Just really, really love this album. Um, her second album is uh, Were You Prom Queen? Um, much more of focus on this one on relationships. Um, a lot, yeah, a lot of uh, trying to find the right relationship and the uh, things like that. Um, Probably my favorite song on here is called I Don't Like Drinking, which is about needing to go out and get drunk to get over a bad breakup. <laughs> it's really, really clever lyrics in that one. So I was poking around trying to find out more about her and uh, I get on YouTube and find out that she has another album out called um okay yeah first screen turn um called beautiful life uh which i've been listening to it and i really like how a lot of it returns to the more spiritual things like the tree of life um we have ghost of phaedra um there's one about persephone um so a lot back going back to the spiritual stuff there's still Still a lot of uh, relationship things in here. Um, it's, I mean, all those things are like folk music, but a little, uh, I don't know, a little extra twinge, a little extra, uh, almost psychedelia to it, um, especially their first album. And then this one really uh, gets into kind of psychedelic folk music. Mm -hmm. um, I've been poking around trying to find how i can get a copy of this um apple apple offered to let me download it but then glitched and said which i think was because no not apple amazon and i think it was it's only available on british amazon or something like that i think that's why oh. when i went to order it 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 suddenly threw up an error message at me but um yeah you can go to the british website well that's what i thought where i thought yeah. i was oh. I, I, I went it said order it said download album i clicked on download album yeah. and it said sorry something went wrong try again oh it could be they don't do international orders maybe maybe yeah, yeah. so i don't know but um anyway i really i'm really loving finding out that she has has a third album, even though this one goes way back to 2009. So she's not active right now, as far as I can tell. This is all that I found. They're just the three of them. Um, but very, like I say, very interesting songwriter exploring various aspects of life that we don't, you know, don't necessarily sing about and with a very original style to it. So I recommend looking up Lindsay Smith and seeing what you can find. I found something as you were scrolling down. Okay. A very familiar song title, Anna Ng. That's a remake of the song by They Might Be Giants, by any chance? Um, I don't know. There it is. Let me, there it is. Um, hmm, she got the copyright there. Copyright hmm. on it, yeah. Hmm. When was the They Might, they Might Be Giants song put out? Do oh, you have any wow. Idea? That's going back, yeah. 
Okay. I have to look that up. Uh, well, let's go. Let's just give it a try. I, I don't think she's going to complain and then give us a chance. Come on, skip, skip, skip. That's not it. Uh, there we go. Nineteen eighty-eight. Okay. But does this sound anything like that? Oh, I got a share sound. Oh, okay. There we are. Oh, there was still a big block in the glow of each other's just Listen, Anna, hear my words. They're the ones you would think I would say gone. if there was a need for you. This is, they might be joined. This is my like J.J. song? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's a song. I know it is. I know the song very well. Wow, okay. Cool. Oh, oh, credit. Or the time when That's a generic credit. The recording. The wires from the line to the Got a P two thousand nine, which is just recording is copyright two thousand nine, but not the song. So. Anna Ang and I are getting old, and we still haven't walked in the glow of each other's majestic presence. Listen, Anna, hear my words. They're the ones you would think I would say if there was a need for you. So that you also get a chance to uh hear what she sounds like, how she approaches things. <laughs> hmm. Must investigate <laughs> further. There yes. are five acts listed as doing remakes of Anna Ng. She's not listed. <clears throat> well, she's, she, I say she's pretty obscure and not... Regional artist, yeah. Regional, yeah, from yeah. Georgia, I believe. Even though... Oh wow! She seems to be available from England. I don't know. It's all so confusing. <laughs> but she's good. Sure sounded good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Murray. Time to go on. 